Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Why don't you get on here today with the favorites and fails, and I'm going to include a couple of first impressions. I'm going to do um, makeup, skincare, and um, I'm also including lifestyle in this video, and I am just going to jump right into this. I'll start with the fails as usual. I didn't hate this, but y'all, I've had this Milani Make It Last matte for months trying to decide if this works. And I finally just decided it just didn't do that much. I don't notice that much with this. It definitely does not make things stay matte. Um, the way I like this best is if I don't want to look overly powdered, I'll spray a beauty blender and bounce it on my face and it will mattify it kind of like a powder without the powdery buildup. But I don't think it keeps anything matte for very long. I just don't notice a lot with this. So I will keep this and use it just as a regular setting spray. Okay, next I'm going to move on to my favorites and I'm going to start with primers. And the first one is the Joa Selfie Ready Mattifying Primer. Okay, like the Milani Make It Matte, I don't notice this keeping things matte any longer than without it. But it's in my favorites because it is a very nice blurring primer. So I like this just as a regular blurring primer. It's very nice. Looks like that. Has kind of maybe a little bit of a silicone slip. And it does dry down to a matte. But I don't know that it keeps my foundations matte. So, but it does blur nicely and I really enjoy that. Okay, next, the Smashbox Primer Water. And y'all, I love this one. It starts me out with the most beautiful glow, but it's not too much. And how I apply this, I don't ever spray anything directly on my face or rarely. So how I put this on, because I rarely spray anything directly on my face because of my eyes, I spray my hand with it, rub my hand together, rub my hands together, and then pat it all over my face. This gives the most beautiful glow. It's not too much, does not feel heavy under my makeup, but they say it's hydrating. And I know that you can also use this as a setting spray. I'm sure it leaves a beautiful, glowy, dewy look. I will definitely get a, a lot of use out of that. Okay, next I have another blurring primer because I just can't get enough of the blur. And I picked up this e.l.f poreless face primer and I love this. I would compare this very much to the NYX Angel Veil and I've decided if you find one blurring primer to me a lot of these are very much the same. So if you already have the NYX Angel Veil or the Too Faced Primed and Poreless something like that that's what this is but if you're looking for a good blurring primer it looks like that. It just feels so Nice. I'll show y'all how it blurs my hand out. Yeah, just a nice blur. I really am enjoying this. Okay, next, some blushes. The first one I heard about on Trish Oliver's channel, and this is this is a Milani, and it's called Petal Primavera. I had to order this off the Milani website. Y'all, this is a beautiful, earthy pink. If you like colors like the Laura Geller Pink Grapefruit or the Benefit Rockateur, that's kind of what this is. And once it settles on my skin, um, I notice more of the baby pink than the earth, so I get a nice flush of color with it. This is beautiful. Okay, next, another Milani, and this is in Berry Amore. And this is just a bright, earthy berry, but nice, I get a nice brightness with it in a berry tone. And that that's what it is. It is a true berry, but it's brightening. A lot of berry colors kind of darken my face, but this is um, very lifting and brightening. So I really love the Berry Amore. I love both of these Milanis. Okay, next, I have a Wet n Wild Highlighter in Blossom Glow. This is a white with a little bit of a pink shift to it. It looks like that. And that's it on my um, finger. So it's very lifting and icy and brightening and just right here on the tops of my cheeks. I love it. Now it is more, I think, of a dramatic highlighter. 
nice and pigmented, glowy. Um, and after I put that on, I bounce it out with the Beauty Blender because I do see texture with it. But I love it. So that is really pretty and a very inexpensive risk for you. Okay, next, I am on the hunt for finishing powders. So I picked up this NYX HD Studio Setting Powder, Finishing Powder. Y'all, this is so finely milled. It has one ingredient, silica. And it's a very finely milled, blurs things out really nicely. Hold on, we'll put a little bit of this on. And I will tell you, when I opened it, it reminded me of the By Terry Hyaluronic. So I looked up the ingredients. They both have silica. The only difference that I could see was that the By Terry has hyaluronic acid in it, which I cannot use. But I get much the same effect with this as the By Terry. Hold on, it's fine as dust. You just need a, the tiniest amount. You see the dust? Just like the Biteri. Then I tap it off into the lid. Very nice, just blurs everything out, finishes everything out real nice. I like it under my eyes, I like it all over my face. It's nice and blurring, this is nice. Okay, next, some eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Jackie Ina by Anastasia. Y'all, okay, I will say about this, like most of the Anastasias, if you like the Anastasia formula and you like these colors, you'll like this palette. I like it because it has a lot of darker colors in it, so I can get a nice dramatic look. I have this on today, and I have on this in my transition, I have this on my crease, I have that in my outer V, and then some on the crease, and then on my lid, I put them a good amount of the Milk Jumbo Stick and this, and that's that. So, I really like this palette. I would say that's one of the pinks. I would say that I am a semi-Anastasia collector. When they come out, I like to pick them up if I like the colors. Nice blendability, nice and pigmented. Um, just the normal amount of fallout of any of the Anastasia palettes. This will be beautiful in the fall, and I can get warms and cools with it. I like that. These two down here make a very nice warm look. If I want cooler, I go up here to these. That purple is beautiful. The brown is dark enough. I love the Jackie Ina palette. So again, if you like Anastasia eyeshadows and you like these colors, I don't think you would be disappointed with it. I'm not, I love, I really love that. Okay, next, in the Sephora sale, I went Viseart ham. I went crazy on the Viseart's. And the first one I picked up was this Rose Edit palette. I did not think I would pick this up because it's small and I tend not to pick small palettes up. I love this. I've taken this on several trips this month. It is beautiful. This shock of pink is lovely with a purple undertone. This color right here is a great transition color. I love all the shimmers in here because they're brightening because they tend to be bright. I love that one. So I am loving the Rose Edit palette so much. I picked up a couple more and my, probably my next favorite is this Apricotine. It's nice and warm and I just get a beautiful warm look with it and the shimmers. That is beautiful on the lid or that one. So I am really loving this in that brown is plenty dark enough for my outer V. I can get a complete warm look with this. Then I also picked up the Petite Pro. I love it. If you like these shades, this down here, this eggplant, just that dark purpley color, beautiful. I love the Papa Color with this. I love the shimmers in it. And then you have just a basic brown. If you don't, if you don't want to go with that purple, this is beautiful. Those will be so nice in the fall. 
So I love all of these Viseart palettes. I love them. I think these are worth the, I think the Visearts are worth the hype. I just always, always get a good look with these with no fallout. Okay, next, at the Sephora sale, I had picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Lovegasm. So I pulled this into my products to test out for the month. <sighs> Y'all, I love this. Okay, now let me just say about this. This looks much more pigmented than it actually is. It is, you can get a very subtle look with this. This bronzer, even on my pasty skin, it's what I have on today. You can really see it on my forehead, but I have to really dig in that to get a lot of color. So it's buildable. It doesn't go on just, you know, real dark, which I don't want a bronzer that just goes on real dark and I have to blend it out. This is very easy to control. Um, I can't decide if that's warm or neutral. I think it leans to the warm. And then these I use as blush topper kind of highlighters. And again, you know, you just don't get just a real scary look with that. It's just nice and subtle. That was the pink one. And then this goldy color is beautiful on peach blushes. And then the highlighter. And this is the one I have over on this side today. It is just a very nice palette. I will get, I will really enjoy that. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish, and y'all, this is a little bit magic. I don't know that I've ever had dark circles disappear quite that much. It really covers well. This really covers my dark circles well. So, um, I have this in Fair, and I really like this. It really covers dark circles dramatically. In my experience, it just erases them. So, and I will tell y'all the allergens are horrible right now. I got a an alert yesterday on my phone that said critical pollen in the air. They are high. And I have this on and it just totally takes them away. Okay, next I picked up an e.l.f. liquid matte lip gloss. And this color is in Tea Rose, and I picked this up because if you've been with me, you know I am obsessed with a lilac. This reminded me so much of my Bare Minerals smooch that is Holy Grail. Look how close those are. The Bare Minerals is a little bit lighter, but I can lighten this up with a little Rimmel Sunday Best or a little bit of concealer just about a dupe and neither one of these dry me out the elf does not dry me out and the bare minerals doesn't but i probably paid around five dollars for this and i love it okay next i'm going to move on to skincare and only have one item but i love it and that is this heritage rose water and glycerin i love this as a moisturizer at night or kind of like an essence and the way I use this, I put it in my hand, it's a liquid, and I just drop some in my hand and rub my hands together and then pat it all over my skin. It leaves a beautiful, moist glow on my face. I love to cleanse and tone and then put this on and then put an oil over it. This is a lovely light moisture. I would imagine it would be beautiful under makeup. I have not done that, but it's nice and light. And the only ingredients in this are purified water, vegetable glycerin, and hydroessential rose. I'm loving using that at night. Okay, next, my lifestyle favorites. First, egg bites from Starbucks. If you have not tried an egg bite from Starbucks, they have, I think, th maybe three carbs. My favorite are the ones with bacon. Good protein and fat, very tasty, and um, low carb. I love those. Okay, next, the Benitos in sweet chili and sour cream. <laughs> Y'all, I think these are the most delicious Benitos I have ever eaten in my life. The only thing about these is I have to be careful not to eat the whole bag. They are delicious, a little bit spicy and sweet. They have six grams of fat, 15 carbs, and four grams of fiber, um, and five grams of protein. These are a good source of fiber, no non-GMO, gluten-free, and um, the main ingredient in these is beans. The, the whole Great Northern beans. The sweet chili bonitos are delicious. Okay, next, Annette then. 
And I'm holding up this box of the Smokehouse Cheddar, but this is not my favorite flavor. My favorite flavor of these are sweet. They are called Cinnamon Honey Nut Thins. And they remind me, if you've ever had the Taco Bell cinnamon chips, that's what they taste like. I can only keep one box of them in my house. I don't have any right now because I ate them all. They are not low carb but they are gluten-free and they are a very nice treat. And that is all my favorites, fails, and first impressions. Y'all let me know down below anything that y'all are loving so we can pick it up and love it with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.